Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It's about 6.30. I went into Russellville today and it's supposed to rain any minute now. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So that's the scoop there. Let's uh, see why I went to Russellville. Yep, more concrete blocks and the eggs. I just, uh, I just gathered those. But we've got uh, my relatives keep an eye out for me for you know free stuff, and this was a box or a bucket of tools, hammers, screwdrivers, other things. Cool. I uh, got more blocks, uh, some of the regular cinder blocks, and then I also got the solid ones, four inches thick. Why am I getting more blocks when? I've already got a stack of blocks there. Well, that stack of blocks is enough for one set of stairs. <laughs> and now I have, uh, well, there are 18 there, and that, uh, that will serve as another set of temporary stairs. Because, you know, once the cabin gets here, you got to get up and down, and if it's sitting a few blocks tall, you need stairs. And, so, and there are a lot of uses for these center blocks uh, if they are not used uh, after the cabin. So, yeah, picked up those. Okay, why is the pet carrier in there? The pet carrier is in there because I rehomed a the gold-laced Wyandotte. that was the freebie when i ordered my whiting true blues and uh, back in october they send you a free uh free baby chick and the free baby chick was a gold lace wyandotte and somebody on the internet was looking for a gold lace wyandotte and i've got a gold lace wyandotte and uh so yeah we met in in russellville and uh, i have rehomed the gold lace wyandotte and i think there's a electrical cord in there that was also a freebie so yeah and eggs one two three four uh, and only nine although I have not checked under number two um, and I probably won't because her those chicks are due to hatch tomorrow tomorrow's Thursday so good luck number two and once they are hatched I will be I'll be putting her into the brooder so where I put the brooder We'll figure that out tomorrow, but yeah, her and the baby chicks will go into the brooder. I'll uh, I'll do what I did the last two times. I've uh, I've had uh, hens hatch out chicks. All right, enough about uh, my trip to Russellville, I guess. Did you miss me, Fifi? Did you miss me? Yeah, you missed me. You haven't gotten a scratch all day. Yeah. Hi. Hi. That is very nice. The dark purple iris. This was the first uh, iris of this variety that bloomed. And it's just very close here to these. Are they Dutch irises? Siberian? Japanese? <laughs> Louisiana? <laughs> Some high school in Ohio? I don't know. They're lovely. They are lovely. And also today, well, yeah, yeah, those are the daffodils that I planted um, back in February. So, yeah, those are nice. But we've also got three, and one down there, but three light purple irises that have uh, joined the parade of flowers. Yeah. Yep, so that's what's blooming today. This patch uh, did not do well last year. Sunflowers doing well. I didn't even plant these. Uh, well, I planted them last year, but they're volunteers this year. I don't know. There's probably 50 of them or so coming up. Some of them are doing very well. Yeah, bunches of volunteer sunflowers. I'm tempted to just uh, uh, surround them with some of those wood chips and see what they do. <laughs> Okay, and I got more sunflowers out here. Let's look. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a that's a sunflower. I grew like a handful of the mammoth Russian sunflowers 
uh, out in this area last year. So some more volunteer sunflowers and it looks like it's starting to sprinkle. Something else I want to point out, this was, uh, well, this whole area, last year at this time I was planting cosmos and sunflowers in two rows down here, but this year it's just not going to happen. But what I find interesting is most of what's coming up is uh, lamb's quarter. I think, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is all lamb's quarter. And uh, the chickens eat it, whether or not it is lamb's quarter. So, yeah, that's interesting. I come out here, grab handfuls, throw them in there, and they will, uh, well, they'll peck at it. They don't exactly devour it, but they eat it. Tons of lamb's quarter. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Actually, I do have one idea, but that's for tomorrow's video. This is a rose bush, and last year that rose bush was right in the middle of my row of cosmos. And uh, it got run over by a bulldozer uh, in between last year and this year. So it was, <laughs> it was pruned, and it looks like there are a few little buds on there. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be cool to see. I should probably dig it up and, and uh, relocate it. Yep. I probably should, but it's probably going to bloom before I get around to that. I don't know what the official name of these are. They are in the daffodil narcissist family. Jonquil is one term I've heard uh, used to describe varieties like this. J-O-N-Q-U-I-L. But yeah, these are... These have been nice. Only it looks like only three of the five patches I have here are blooming, which is understandable because this was covered. Uh, none of them bloomed last year. <laughs> this was covered in stuff last year. There's a whole row of these uh, right along the road, right before you get to my place. So yeah, I'm enjoying these. And I've got another patch of them back here. <laughs> I showed in an earlier video. These were the, they grew up through, through the step on the ladder. That's hysterical. Now these did bloom last year and I just never got around to relocating them. So they can bloom this year and they'll stay there until I get around to relocating them. And I need, a, this is a borrowed ladder. We Still some trees that will come down at some point. Specifically that tree is going to come down at some point. It's leaning right over the electric line. So that's the last one, but uh, to get that one out, uh, that one has to be cleared, and some of this other stuff has to be cleared, and that's, you know, the cabin was more important, so that can all be done after the cabin gets here. No Mount Magazine today. Oh well, it'll be there tomorrow. And if not, it'll be there the day after. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody.